ACT Expo, Volvo unveiled an autonomous version of their new VNL truck in partnership with Aurora. We designed it specifically to be superhuman, better in every way than what a human can do. Volvo built a specialized version of its VNL and Aurora implemented its advanced self-driving technology. It sees about three times further than a human can. It tracks hundreds of objects in its surroundings simultaneously. Its high resolution radar sees through snow, rain, and fog. Making all this possible is the immense computational power of the onboard computer. Top of the line mobile chips will do about 38 trillion operations per second. The computer in this truck can do up to 5,400 trillion operations per second. With all that processing power on board, this makes Volvo's autonomous VNL even more fuel efficient than the standard version. A couple weeks ago, Aurora published research showing that these trucks ultimately have the opportunity not just for the 10% improvement in fuel efficiency that Volvo extracted with the new VNL, but to go beyond that to over 30% additional fuel efficiency improvement through a combination of eco-driving, slower cruise speeds enabled by the ability of this truck to drive around the clock and not stop for brakes, not stop for sleeping, not, stop, not stopping for meals, still get loads to their destination faster than a conventionally human-driven truck. With Aurora software making the truck more efficient, Volvo has implemented redundant hardware to increase safety. This means that there's two of any system that's critical to safety, such as braking and steering. So why is there so much redundancy in this truck? Why is there two of everything? The key reason is typically on a normal standard truck, you will get one set of steering, braking, communication, and power supply systems. And you see them, those, those failures happen, but not that often, but they do happen. In an autonomous technology, you don't have the human driver who can actually go and react to that, those kind of scenarios. So what we do is we actually identify all the key safety critical functions and we duplicate them. We duplicate not only the systems, we also duplicate their power. So we actually make them independent of each other. So when one system fails, the other one system kicks in. Despite how safe this truck may be, will it really be operated with no human intervention? In the initial period, we will operate with safety driver. But at a certain point in time, when we have everything in place and when we feel really and know that we are safe, then of course the safety driver can be removed. And that is a very important step, of course. And this step we have actually achieved already in Europe in the mining segment. And now, of course, the big next step for us is to bring autonomy also to the US and bring it for the on-highway segment. This truck is superhuman, extremely safe, and will still have a human behind the wheel but how will it actually be implemented into the real world? We want to be able to transport the freight from the customer depot to the customer depot. How we'll start now is that there will be specific autonomous terminals set up along the highways. So with the first mile from the customer depot to the autonomous terminal will be done with a annual truck and, and a driver. They drive into the terminal, there we swap. We do the long stretch, the long hauling autonomous to the second autonomous terminal and then we swap back and do manually back to the customer depot. That is how we will start. Then eventually when the technology matures, hopefully we'll be able to go end to end, just customer depot to customer depot. However, currently Volvo's autonomous truck is only offered as a trucking as a service solution. We in the beginning want to take the full responsibility, sort of de-risk it for our customers. So we want them to be able in an easy way to integrate it into their, their way of working and then we will figure it out. And, and we believe that doing that, the best way is to, to offer a full solution. So the first two lanes that we will start to operating autonomously are in Texas. It is, it is between Dallas and Houston and the Fort Worth and El Paso. We work with several customers and we are onboarding them today. So if weeks that have freight in Texas can reach out if their interest is out. Yes, tell them to call me. <laughs> to learn about the human-driven version of Volvo's all-new VNL, click the video on screen now.